Hi, this is Daniel from Body Project, and I'd like to tell you the 10 things that I think are really gonna make a difference to you achieving your goals. So the first one is discipline, not motivation. I think so many of us have this belief that motivation is gonna help us to achieve the things that we really want to. And it's a nice belief that motivation could possibly get us there because when we're motivated, we, we feel like we could take on the world. But you know, motivation abandons all of us eventually. A belief in motivation I've seen allow more people to go by the wayside with their health plans than anything else. We need to replace motivation with discipline. You have to be able to exercise, you have to be able to eat healthily when you don't feel like it. You know, and when you've done that, when you've exercised or eaten healthily on a day that you really didn't want to, you've cracked it. So the first thing you have to know if you wanna be successful is discipline is more important than motivation. The next point that I would love for you to take on is that every decision that you make matters, and it really matters. In fact, the most important decision that you're gonna make is the very next one, always the very next decision. That cake you're about to eat, don't think about cake now, but that matters. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it, but it will contribute. The workout that you're about to do right now, that matters, it really matters. The healthy meal that you've eaten today, that matters. Every decision you make, adds up. Every single one is a small part of a bigger puzzle. And the more often that you can focus on making a good decision in the moment, the more you're gonna benefit from the compound effect of consistent good decisions. Let it go. One-off events are almost irrelevant when compared to consistency, to compound good decisions. So the ice cream that you accidentally ate at the weekend doesn't really matter at all. But the daily latte you have, or the gin and tonic you have every night before you go to bed, whatever it is that you do consistently, that really matters. So mistakes, you're gonna make them. I'm gonna save you that. You're gonna go off track sometimes. You're gonna miss a workout. You're gonna eat some things you didn't want to. On the scheme of it, it doesn't matter. Don't allow one mistake to compound into a, a magnitude of consistent bad decisions. Calories do matter. I find it amazing that in this day and age, people are still disputing whether or not calories play a part in weight loss and fat loss. Well, they do. Now that's not to say that it's not important that you eat a good quantity of healthy foods, of course it is. It's not to say that, that some foods don't have a higher thermic effect than others, that some of us have faster metabolisms. There's many factors that play a part, but if weight loss specifically and fat loss is your goal, you are going to have to take calories into consideration. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to count every single calorie, but it means that you do have to be aware that without a calorie deficit, which is burning more calories than you consume, you're not gonna shift the number on the scale. And if that's important to you, you have to factor it in. The fifth thing I want you to know, and something I see people, a lot of people making mistakes with, is you need enough protein. Now that doesn't mean you have to be drinking protein shakes and loading protein every five minutes, but it means you need enough, sufficient protein. Every time you eat, you should be trying to get at least some protein in, because protein is the building blocks. Protein is what builds your body. You can't construct a healthy, strong, and capable body without it. You've got to have it. And if you don't and you're training, you're gonna start feeling tired and lethargic and you're not gonna feel like training. So get enough protein in. The sixth thing I want you to know, and you know, this is really, really important. And, and probably the first thing I would often emphasize when I was coaching personal clients. And that is do not work out because you hate the way your body is work out because you love your body. Your body is part of you. It's what gives you the capacity to live and move, move and do so many things in your life. 
There are lots of positives in your body, focus on them. I know from experience that when people achieve the physical goals that are important to them, it definitely unlocks factors of their personality that were there all along, but now they have the confidence to release. But them things are there now. The good things about you are there now. Getting to a physical goal is not going to make them come about. It's going to reveal them perhaps to the outside world because you've got more confidence. I've seen that happen a lot. Love your body. Love yourself as you are now. And that's going to give you a platform to move forward, I promise. The seventh thing that I want to share with you is hunger versus appetite. Hunger isn't an emergency. It's very much a physical feeling. It comes on slowly and it often fades away with time or with a glass of water, something like this. Because when we feel hungry, our body is asking us for more fuel. And if we constantly give our body more fuel every single time it's hungry, we do run the risk of never letting our body raid the fat stores, switching energy systems and saying, okay, I'm not gonna get any carbs in, so what I might do is break down some fat cells. Don't think because you're a little bit hungry that you have to eat immediately, because you don't. You can let hunger pass a little bit and you'll be absolutely fine, I promise. And you can play with that a bit, but don't be afraid of hunger. You might need some to achieve your goals. I certainly do, most people I've worked with do. That's very different to appetite. Appetite is emotional hunger, and that comes on suddenly. It's insatiable. You cannot feed emotional hunger. That's driven by boredom or the full spectrum of human emotions. You're gonna have to conquer emotional eating if you're gonna be successful, which leads me on to the next point. Pause before you make any decisions when it comes to food. Pausing allows you to bring your logical, rational mind into the conversation before the instant gratification that's asking you for some chips or whatever it is right now dominates the situation. So you bring some balance to the conversation and you start talking about your goals and you start thinking about what you can do. You start tuning into, is this actually hunger or is this emotional appetite? Am I feeling this because I'm actually hungry or am I wanting to change the way I feel? And all these things that I've covered in detail over on the website on our emotional eating blog. Pause, pause before you allow food to pass your mouth. Make that rule. I'm not saying you'll make a great decision every time, but you'll make a good decision way more often than you will if you don't bring that pause in. So the ninth thing that I'd like you to know to succeed with your goals is comparison and specifically not comparing to other people. Comparison is about the most pointless thing you can do. It's the fast track to the fridge or to the couch. It's not true. We cannot empirically compare ourselves to any other person. We're unique. We have a range of different factors in our life, meaning that no one thing can be compared to any other one thing. Comparison is a losing game. Don't get involved in it. It doesn't work for any of us. But the only person that you should compare yourself to is yourself. It's that simple. That's a good comparison because that is something, okay, how was I yesterday and how am I today? The final thing that I would love for you to know, something that I've learned coaching so many people and in many ways for myself, is to focus on progress and not perfection. Perfection is a false destination. You're never gonna find it, it doesn't exist. Progress, on the other hand, that happens continuously. It can happen every day. It's real, it's tangible, it keeps on coming. You can get as much of it as you want. Remember, the journey is the destination and the destination is the journey. There's no end point. So start enjoying the progress, start enjoying where you are now, start enjoying what you're doing and what you're achieving. 
Stop thinking that there's some abstract future that's gonna make everything great. Right now is your life. Start enjoying it. So there we go, 10 things that I wanted to share with you that I hope will help you achieve your weight loss, health, fat loss goals, whatever they are. Remember to come over and visit us at teambodyproject.com for lots of blogs, lots of support from myself and Alexandra, and of course, some fantastic workout plans where we've got hundreds of workouts, plans for every level, fitness tests, you name it. Everything's there for you to achieve your goals, and we'd love to see you over there. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends so they can benefit too.